A North Dakota native and Army veteran will be peddling from the Montana border to Fargo this weekend. He's doing so to spread awareness and raise money for a local group called Patriot Assistance Dogs in Detroit Lakes. Valley News Team's Kelly Hubbard caught up with a cycler who's hoping his efforts will generate $50,000. If you plan on venturing through North Dakota Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, you may come across Andrew Nathan. I'm going to take this bike. I'm going to ride from Beach, North Dakota to Fargo. He's a 22-year veteran that was a part of the 82nd Airborne Division and the North Dakota Army National Guard. I was thinking, well, what can I do? Because I want to serve more. I want to serve something bigger than myself. Nathan will be cycling 378 miles for Patriot Assistance Dogs in Detroit Lakes. In no way or shape or form do I think this is going to be a walk in the park. It's going to be tough, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited. The organization gives highly trained, certified psychiatric service dogs to qualified U.S. military veterans at no cost. This organization does a lot with the little that they they operate on. 88% of these dogs are rescued, like this one named Beth. I really preferred not going anywhere and doing anything. I, I'd like to just stay at my house. Having a dog gives me purpose to go outside. Mm -hmm. Army veteran Raymond Pizarro says dogs like this help vets in every state surrounding Minnesota. For some of the veterans that come in, they're completely shattered. They have absolutely no hope. Until they spend some time with their new companion. They have smiles on their face. They're ready to conquer anything that's around. I talked with Ray. I got to, I've got to know Ray over the years, and, and I saw just how much his dog has helped him. That's why Nathan's gearing up to bike across the state, hoping to raise money to give back to those who have done so much. In Fargo, Callie Hubbard, Valley News Live. Nathan says everyone is invited to ride along with him on Friday. To learn more about the route or if you'd like to donate, you can find the GoFundMe on our Valley News Live app. A Minnesota man who is an HIV survivor shares his experience about beating the coronavirus. We'll hear from him next on Valley News Live at 6.